Hey everyone, just wanted to do a lovely vlog for you to uh, see how I'm doing, so you can see how I'm doing. Um, you know, so I've been home from hospital now for uh, two days. I had my uh, surgery to remove the tongue cancer on the side of my tongue, and also to perform a uh, selective neck dissection. Um, a week today, it's actually one week ago today, uh, last Thursday, so, so I'm a week post-operative. Um, and, and this is how I'm doing, this is how I'm sounding, this is how I'm looking. Generally, everything's been fine. Uh, you know, it, it's a struggle to eat. It's a struggle to pronounce certain words. Um, but overall, I think I'm doing quite well. I think the recovery is uh, it's, it's a slow recovery, as you expect with such a significant operation. Um, but I think overall, the recovery is going okay. And uh, it, it's uh, better than I was expecting. I thought I would have more pain, more, more swelling. Uh, you know, uh, more difficulty eating and speaking uh, than I have. I'm mostly on soft foods. Now, I have not progressed onto hard food uh, yet. So, it's like mashed potatoes, um, you know, uh, uh, and, uh, and and eggs and things like that, and, and, and bread. Um, I've just started to reintroduce a, a little bit of bread into the diet uh, now. That takes quite a bit of chewing. So, uh, that one has been a little bit difficult. But again, you know, I'm starting... To, to introduce that into the diet as well. I think generally things are going okay. The main the main issue is like on, on the speech and with certain words and sounds. So I'm gonna go through the alphabet and you can hear but most of the letters, most of the letters are fine, but there are a couple that are really really quite difficult for me. So here we go. Uh, a B C D E F G H H I J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. So it's S, particularly S, uh, and also X a little bit, uh, and Z uh, a little bit as well. But it's mainly the S, but, but it's, it's the issue... Well, I've been, you know, doing some research on this. Apparently, it's very, very common when you have this uh, operation, like a partial prostatectomy with a wide excision. It's very, very uh, common to have problems with the S word. Basically, I've been, uh, I've, uh, I've got like a bit of a list now, and uh, I think it will improve with time. It may be, you know, semi-permanent. I may have an issue with S is now uh, going forward. Um, there are little. Uh, techniques and tricks that you can uh, use to uh, disguise it and, and to help help with with, uh, with your speech. But um, yes, I think that the, the, the S the S sound that sh, 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 that sound is going to be it's going to be where the issue is uh, in terms of speech going forward. Otherwise, everything else sounds fine. So I'm sure, I'm, uh, so I'm sitting here. Um, I am feeling better than I was on uh, on um, Tuesday when I did the first week after I came out of hospital. A lot of swelling is starting to uh, reduce and whatnot, so I'm sounding a little bit clearer now than I did on Tuesday. It's like a day by day progression that gets a little bit better, but it's definitely on that S here. It's on that on that S sound. S S. Definitely on that, but it's going to need uh, you know work and practice. And, uh, and we'll see. It's still very, very early days. One week on uh, from uh, this operation. Still very early days. I've still got stitches in my mouth, for example. And, uh, yeah, I've, I've still got... It's still quite a bit of swelling. It's going down, but it's still quite a bit of swelling on uh, on the right side of my tongue as well. So, um, so yeah, you know, it's early days. We'll see how... Uh, we'll know more, I think, about how the long-term speech impact is looking in around sort of three or four weeks' time, I would anticipate, when things are really starting to, to settle down. But I think, you know, for, for what I've been through, I don't think it's been... Uh, it's too bad. I don't think my speech is too bad for what I've been through. I wouldn't be confident enough to see the weather at all yet. But, but um, you know, Jimmy's vlogs, uh, I, I, th I think it's okay. Uh, the more I speak, the, um, the better it gets as well. So, uh, people will find these videos, I'm sure, through YouTube search, um, you know, that are going through similar, similar experiences. And uh, one thing I want to emphasise is that you really have to push through this. 
Um, the tongue is basically a muscle. Uh, so, so it's actually three muscles. The tongue is three muscles, you know, combined. And as with any muscle, if you don't use it, you lose it. Um, so, so, you know, the tendency, I think, when you have this, is to try not to speak or speak as little as possible, eat as little as possible, you know, and, and sort of withdraw. The way to, to do it, though, is, is to push through. You have to push through. You have to use that muscle as soon as you possibly can. Um, it will be rather painful. I'm still having some pain as I'm talking to you now, but I'm pushing through the pain uh, because, uh, you know, you've got to restrain from the muscle. The, the, the tongue has been through, and my tongue has been through an ordeal. Your tongue has been through an ordeal. Having this operation, you know, having this invasive cancer taking out the cut and sticking it back together again, losing some of the mass of the muscle. It's been for an ordeal. But you have to, you know, you have to push and strengthen that muscle back up. And the way you do that is, is speaking as much as you can, even most difficult, eating what you can, albeit, you know, you have to modify your diet so you, you can't be eating, like, pastries and biscuits and things like that. But you can eat certain soft foods. So, so, so that definitely... Uh, helps and and uh, when I can't do it yet because the stitches aren't out. But when um the the uh, stitches are out, there will be certain exercises that I can do on the tongue as well. Um and and I'll probably show you some of those. It, it involves sticking the tongue out, sort of moving it around uh, the lips, and just moving your tongue as much as you can inside your mouth, which you, which I can do now um as well. So um. So it's difficult, but you've got to, you've got to, you've got to persevere. You've got to push at it, um, because you know, it, like, like with any muscle in any part of the body, if you don't use it, you are going to lose it. And uh, and so, well, that's my motto anyway. That, you know, that, that you've got to push out. So this little vlog is actually part of my therapy, actually. Um, as I say, I can't do the weather at the moment because it has such a big audience, and there'll be people watching but don't know what's happening you don't understand why i'm talking like i'm talking so i can't do the weather videos yet but on these rods this is part of my therapy as well so I, you know we i'm um i'm uh i'm getting some out of it myself in terms of therapy um to to uh to help my recovery uh and and get through this uh period um you know post opted where where it's a real struggle uh, with with uh, with a very very immobile and swollen and rather sore um, tongue, but uh, but it's going to get better. It's going to get better. I think it is getting better, you know. And, and the, the recovery will continue. I think one week out, I'm not doing too bad at all with recovery. And I think like the perseverance and pushing through it is uh, is what's helping a lot. Well, speaking a little bit about, I will go through the operation uh, with you in, in a vlog. I will show you that weekend. Might get still do it weekend. Go through the operation and, and tell you what they did, what they experienced. Uh, was like, and um, that will be coming up uh, in, in a future vlog. It was quite a radical operation, as you saw on uh, Tuesday's video. So, um, uh, but I'll talk you through it much more about the whole experience, uh, you know, when, when I feel a little bit better. Uh, right, okay, or when I'm speaking a little bit better. Right, okay, so that's it for this vlog. Everything's right, I'm doing well, I'm recovering, I think I'm sounding a little bit better than I did on uh, Tuesday's video, and, uh, and the recovery continues. Still a lot, a lot of work to go, still very early days, just one week out, and, uh, and so I will keep you all updated and informed. Thank you so much uh, for watching, and uh, bye for now.